Hey guys, it's Andrea and today I'm coming at you with my character sticker storage, which has not changed a lot, but I've added some new categories and kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm working with. So the first thing, this is a three ring binder. It's a massive one. I feel like it might be three inch three ring binder. It is like a D ring and this is from Walmart. I ordered it online, so I will try and link it down below. But they have this really pink color, pretty pink color. And then I also have a purple one that I keep all of my like Disney related stickers, which if you guys wanna see a Disney sticker storage, which that's still probably like this big, um, let me know in the comments down below. So this is a pink binder from Walmart and I have decided just to kind of decorate these with vinyls. I've just been kind of throwing them on as I see fit. Nothing on the spine yet, but I probably will add something um, in the future. So let me go ahead and open this. So the first thing that I love about this binder is the multi-pockets here, which I only have these Animal Crossing stickers in here for right now because I have moved some of the larger sheets elsewhere. And then I do also really like this um, like ring. I like that it has the... Um, this, I don't know, everything just feels sturdier and whenever you have this much stuff in one binder, which it weighs, well it weighed before I decluttered, which I posted my declutter on Instagram, um, it was, I decluttered about an inch and a half like height worth, um, it was seven pounds prior to that. So if I had to guess it's probably around a still six pound binder. So I do have some odd loop stickers over here and there's just two different sheets and I have multiples of the Animal Crossing sheet. And then all of my larger character sticker sheets, I've either cut or put somewhere else or I've, you know, moved some into my reusable sticker book from Once More With Love. This is where I keep all of my, you know, um, if a sheet only has like two stickers on it, I move it into here. Or if I get a freebie or something, I will kind of like add those stickers to this book and this is just from Once More With Love like I said and I have decorated it with a piece of cardstock and acetate to have like a little design on it. Super, super cute. So my first page here is all Bennett related stuff. So over here I have all of my Paper Muse craft stickers. Up here I have all single like just Bennett and this would be Bennett and like me and then also this is like family so me, Nick and Bennett. I have a lot of different stickers from a lot of different people and I would totally like go through them all but we would be here for 10 years but if you guys ever want to see like maybe like my family sticker collection and I can go through the sheets or my food collection stickers and go through the sheets let me know and I will do that so that's the first page the second page is Theo so I have all my paper muse craft stickers all of my like me and Theo and then I do have just Theo by himself and then this one should actually be over here Another thing I wanted to mention, I do use all, um, in this one, four pocket sleeves, and I will link them down below, and I always keep a little roll of scotch tape to, you know, quickly fix the sides so you can see that this one is ripped because, you know, taking them in and out, especially I found that the ones on the right side um, rip the most so I just take a little piece of tape and you wouldn't know the difference when they start to look really grody I usually just replace them and I do buy these on Amazon and I will have them linked below But you can totally just use some clear tape and make the pocket good as new because it does happen It also I think once you do tape it, it's a little less likely to rip so That's my Theo page and I also do sell these like little stickers I do have currently just like a really generic version and then I made myself some extra ones so I will link those down below as well and then these are family stickers so I have again um, these would be all like all four of us so I do have some paper muse crafts ones I do have some happy day ones and then I have some customs that Marg made me and then these ones are more just Nick and child so just have a couple of those and then I don't know that why oh this one has like multi kids in it so Multi kids and me. And then this one would be B and T. So anything that is like Bennett and Theo together related. And I also put this onward sheet in there because it reminds me of them. Then I also have playtime. So these are these are not in alphabetical order, obviously. But then after the next after these two pages, it does go into alphabetical order. But these are my most used like categories. So I did put them in the front because it's easier to remember where they are and having them all grouped together because it's like family stuff. So in my playtime, I do have an outdoor playtime. So that includes like walks, going to the playground, playing outside, things like that. Then I do have just a general like, 
I don't know, just kind of like general kids stuff that isn't really playtime, but just is like whatever. And then I have, you know, general playtime. So this could be anything from like, in, like, but all indoor toys. And then this one is Legos and Play-Doh. So it only has those two things in there because we do do those quite a bit. I always forget to mark them though because I feel like we play with Legos and Play-Doh every single day. Then I have my knit category. So in here I have all the stick with the play and co, this specific sheet in different like, you know, seasons. I have to check and see if they came out with like a winter one, but I use this sheet a lot. So I keep that one by itself. And then I also do have um, like watching TV ones because that's usually what I mark with Nick is watching TV. Then these are me and Nick specific ones. And then this is Nick by himself. So there's some Lego ones. There's some gamer ones. There's this one, which Amanda from Fox and Pip made me this like digital that says Boba Nick, which is really cute because Nick loves Boba Fett. Then we move into the alphabetical order ones ish so as you can see on top it says anim um, animal crossing and then switch these are two of the ones i made a bunch for myself to add because i found that in animals that i had a lot more and i think even baby i made a lot more categories i needed because some of them were getting so thick that i needed to separate them another thing i could have did is just kind of like you know made the categories like from subcategories so maybe under um i don't know like random I could put one next to it that I would have put all of my animals and I think that's what I had before um so up here I have animal crossing so all of my animal crossing stickers and then next to it I keep all of my switch related stickers that are not animal crossing and again these kind of like go together so I put them there and also they're towards the front because at one point I was playing animal crossing a lot then I have all my animal related stickers and that which I didn't realize I had so many of but when I realized it I knew I needed a category and then I have baby which a lot of like Theo stickers that I feel like don't really go for him I end up just putting in here for you know if anybody I know has a baby and I want to like visit or something like that I have bath which also has shower birthday cleaning computer cook which also includes baking which because I don't have that many stickers and then dishes which I don't do dishes so that's empty but like maybe one day I will um doctors which also includes like all my face mask stickers because at that like at the beginning of the pandemic that's basically the only place I went until actually like pretty recently um but that was the only place I was like really wearing a face mask because it's the only place I went so now I just kind of know that all of my face mask stickers are under doctor and then I have emojis and that leaves me into emojis emotions so I have emotions negative and I have so many of them that I used to have two pockets that just kind of like I separated the stacks and put them in there but now I have three and I've separated them into kind of like pissy I'm gonna say like kind of like I don't know that kind of negative emotion where you're kind of like mad angry annoyed salty this one is more sick and then this one's more like sad bored and then this one's my positive one, which is funny that I only have one, but you know, I feel like it's easier, like positive emotions, like I feel like one sticker kind of goes for all of them for me, but negative, I got lots of moods. Then for family, this has changed a little bit because Bennett does go to my in-laws um, to do sleepovers. So I have not only added to like the grandparents stash, but I've also added like backpack stickers for whenever he sleeps over there. Um, and then I do have my food categories. I don't remember if these are split up into any particular like organization. I think I just have them. Actually, maybe they are. Maybe all of my Beneva Creations ones are supposed to go in here. And then I was going to do like other stuff in here. Maybe that's what I was doing. Maybe. I don't know. But these are all like pretty general food and you can see some of the sticker sheets like the sticker party ones I have to cut but I honestly don't mind usually if I cut a sheet depending on how many stickers are left I think I gave like some of them to Kirsten like if they applied to her um, or I put them in that character sticker storage the reusable sticker book and then I have all my once more with love stickers over here so and usually I kind of have an idea like of the sticker that I'm looking for when I go into my like basic food categories of like what I'm looking for like oh I remember that one's more love had that sticker then I did make another category for breakfast because I realized I had a lot of breakfast stickers bagels pancakes eggs things like that food drinks that's not new food fast food faves which is mostly Asian food um, I made a pizza and taco section and then I have a food suite which includes like ice creams and things like that or cakes cupcakes all the stuff and then I do have a friends category which this one is like a um 
like me and somebody else specific. So like there's like hair color involved besides this one. Um, so this would be like, you know, me and maybe Marg in my mind. And then this one is more general. And then I do have games. So there's board games, bowling, things like that. Grocery, which I love these paper milk ones. I think they're so cute. And also hair, which would include like at home and salon. Home, which is a new one for me. Which is anything home related. So I have all my wax melt stickers in here. Too hot. Um, I don't know. Just general like home stuff. Cleaning. Um, cockroaches. You know the works. Whatever you need for at home. I got it my new home section. Uh, Happy Mail. Laundry. Which I don't really ever do laundry. But I do need some laundry stickers. For like putting away clothes. Because usually Nick just makes me a pile. And then also with going through the boys clothes. And organizing the boys clothes. I do need laundry stickers for those. Nick's like a laundries and dishes. That's his thing. He won't let me touch them. Me time. Which mostly consists of like. Um, pamper type stuff so makeup and just kind of relaxing mom life which does differ from the other mom categories because they're more like mom life I don't know it's just, I feel like it's just like a different kind of category like I use these stickers a lot um, the heat just went on because it's cold in Texas um, I do have movies so movies I split into two one's just general movies so popcorn um, like movie clapper type things anything like movies related and then this one's actually movie characters so those are separated in the two i have nails and then outdoors is another new one i don't really ever use these because i don't really like going outdoors much ever but there's like camping ones um like playing games outside uh kayaking campfires tents all the work sometimes it happens but rarely pamper which again I don't really know what the difference is between me time and pamper I barely ever use those stickers besides the bath ones which I actually think I moved those into my reusable sticker book and then for period I have any blood related stickers basically I don't really mark my period in my planner anymore um, but you know you never know when you're gonna need something and I put these in here these could go in the doctor but I really like these like little blood drops for like a period but if I ever decided to like give blood I feel like I am either always pregnant or have some kind of like tattoo or something that I haven't been able to give blood but now that I've been like pregnant a million times well you know it feels like it um I feel like giving blood probably wouldn't be that bad I feel like before getting pregnant anytime I used to get like a shot or anything I'd pass out so I'm cool now then I have phone related ones which include like FaceTime and just talking on the phone which I hate talking on the phone planning which would be anything like sticker planning related um then i have pool so there is like kid kind of and person specific pool and then just regular like basic pool and then i do have random which aren't split into any particular like order um but these are just kind of like random stickers that don't have little tattoo don't have any specific you know place where they really need to be but i do use these a lot i have like i said decluttered and kept just the stickers that I can see myself using Sims, I play probably once every three years. I'll go into a Sims bender for like three days, but I want a sticker for it. Then there's read, which I don't also do very often, but I do with the boys. And then there is school ones, which they are not in school. I don't even know when the kids are going to be in school, but I'm collecting cute ones as I go. Um, and then I have shopping. I've split it into two sections. One is online shopping, so anything that is on a computer, whereas the right side is kind of in-person shopping, but I do feel like I could obviously use those for online shopping as well. I do more online shopping than in-person shopping for sure. Then I have sleep stickers. So um, these aren't really separated again by any, you know, difference because they're all just basically sleep. Oh, this one is supposed to be like tired. This one's still sleep. I think that I put these ones in the wrong category. So these ones were more like tired trying to sleep or just look sleepy. And then this one is actually sleeping. So I'm going to throw those in there. And then I have social media, which could mean something different for everyone. But mine is mostly YouTube. So I have a bunch of different cameras and YouTube icons. Then I have sports, lol. I don't, I don't play sports. I don't watch sports, but it was funny because I remember Denise like calling me out, like saying that I'm buying all these sports stickers of sports that I won't likely play, but maybe my kids will play. I'm pretty sure she said that, but it was funny because it's so true. But like maybe my kids will be into sports. I don't know. I think Theo might be a linebacker. He's huge. Then I have therapy stickers and then I have travel stickers. So this is my travel section. Um, this is travel by location. So whether it be Japan or, you know, I think the next one was a convention bucket list. 
um, Canada, Hawaii, travel the world, Vegas, um, museums, aquariums, strippers, whatever you need. And then these ones are based, well, they're separated by air travel and car travel. And then I do have TV related stickers, weather stickers, which mostly include like rain. Let me go ahead and fix this up while I'm talking to you guys. I have wizard. There used to be a magic section, but we actually upgraded to a whole binder because that's the way I do. Um, again, keeping tape in your little drawer is just so handy because you could just tape it up and call it a day. And then I have work stickers. So these are all for whenever I go to work. Mostly when I go to work, I print labels. I organize the um, order filling station for Kirsten because she hates organizing, which is great because I love organizing and I organize stuff. So that's like when I go to work, those are the usual things I do. So I put those all in there. And then at the very back, I do have workout stickers, which include like weight kind of weigh-in stickers. And then I have samplers, which is just this one, which is the Tis the Season, which honestly... I feel like I might put in with my with my like seasonal stickers because I do have a seasonal binder. I want to like with me taking a break from Plan With Me's, I really want to go through and um, do a lot of videos that I've been meaning to with my organization because I have so many that I feel like could have their own little like video. Like I have you know I have a deco binder I have a base binder I have a magical binder I have um you know a seasonal different kits uh, all my foil stuff functional stuff um I have a couple new binders for different holidays I have a couple new binders for different foil colors I have a lot of different things going on and I really want to show you guys um and then these I just haven't trimmed down because the pumpkin paper code don't fit so I'm probably going to trim these and kind of like assess if I want to keep the other part or if I want to put them in my you know reusable sticker book or de-stash to a friend I also need to put away these Post Malone stickers which would probably go under the random because I don't know where else they'd go um but that is everything for my character sticker organization if you guys have any questions leave, leave them linked not leave them linked leave them down below I will leave everything that I used link down below but this is my character sticker organization it is huge i realize in my next life i do want a bigger desk to be able to have this out of my desk while i plan because she's thick but yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video i hope that you guys like this one